All right, let's look at how to use C sharp unit testing using MS test test projects. First of all, let's talk about what is unit testing. Well, unit testing makes it easier to test individual methods. Unit testing helps identify problems and unit testing helps during refactoring. So how does that work? Well, basically what you do with unit testing is you create a test or a series of tests for each method. And then these are written so that they can figure out what's going on with the method. You can write tests that um, create objects and test those objects or just numbers and test numbers and make sure they get valid values back and or valid things. So how does it work? Well, you first create a MS test test project. You basically add it to your existing solution. And then you add a project reference from your MS test test project to your other code. And inside of this new MS test test project, you have a test class and you have test methods. And each test method goes through the process of arranging values and things, creating objects or mock objects. Then you act with these by basically passing them to your method you get back the return value and then with the return value you make an assertion about what the return value is or is supposed to be like and you have the assert r equal assert r not equal assert is false and is true so those and other things you can use to test to make sure that what you're getting back is what you expect so here i have an example project this is my temperature conversion project I have a convert class inside of this temp convert project. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a new project within my solution. So I select my solution. I go up to file and I do add new project. So I add a new project to this solution. And this new project is going to be an MS test test project. So I click next and I'm going to call this one my conversion tests conversion tests so I go ahead and click next and I create it and now I have created this project and it has been added to my solution you can see it showing up right here at the top and you can see this one right here my temp convert below and I want this project to be able to well communicate with that one so what I do is I make sure I have this test conversion tests selected and then I go up to project and I add a reference so add project reference and I want to connect it to the temp convert project so I click OK and this will now link it over after it's linked I still can't use the object in the project until I have a using statement so I do using and then I want to use my temp convert I think that is fine right there just using temp convert at this point I should be able to write my unit testing well there are two methods in the convert class I want to test I want to test the F to C and the C to F so if I'm converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius I want to have tests for these. So I'm going to write a test right here. So this would be test F to C. And inside of my test, I want to come up with some values. So I will go ahead and write something. So I do my arrange first. First of all, I'm going to have my um, new value. So I could say, or my old value. So I'm going to convert from Fahrenheit of 32 Fahrenheit. So, so F or double F equals 32. And I want it to be coming out as something like, I don't know, um, zero. So I have a double C equals zero. You don't have to write it this way. You can write it much cleaner than this. But this is my arranged portion. Next, I want to 
act. So the way I act is I use my temp convert convert and then this is my F2C function. I'm going to pass it my F. All right, now I need to get back a value. So I can do something and say um, R value equals, and I just need to define R value. So I make that a double. So my R value equals whatever comes back. And what is that supposed to be? Well, my R value should be zero. So I can do an assert right here, assert R equal. So the, it wants me to put the expected followed by the actual R equal. And I expected a C and I got back my R value. And I can just say they should be equal. All right. I could have done this much simpler than this. <clears throat> In fact, I can have another assert statement right here. It says assert R equal. And I can say, well, if I want to get to 100 Celsius, I need to pass in a temp convert convert value or F to C of to 12 and that should be equal right so both of these are different assert statements and you can do it however you want but you need to make sure you have an assert statement at this point I can go up to test and I can do a test explorer and it will show me all my tests and then I can do the run all the tests and it will run them all and then they should come back as good And you can see that you can drill down and say, okay, my unit test, I had the test F to C and it tested out good. I can go ahead and do another test if I want right here and do a uh, test method. I do public void test C to F. Same kind of thing. And I can just have an assert statement like the one below. Just copy that. Paste that a couple times. And this time, instead of doing the F to C, I will do C to F. C to F. And I should fix everything up. So let's just go ahead and fix one of them and test to see what happens if I fail the other one. So if I'm going from, let's say I'm going from... 100 Celsius, I should get a 212 Fahrenheit back. And the other one should fail. So I'll go ahead and run this. So I do test, I do test explorer. I can go ahead and see there's a new one that showed up there. I'm going to go ahead and run all the tests. And it's going to show me that one of the tests, the C to F, failed. It failed because it got expected to 100 and it got 413.6 which is not correct so then you start saying wait a second one of these was wrong and it's this one right here you could actually have these as separate tests which might make it easier to then test them out and figure out what's going on so i'm going to change this one right here and say if you pass in a celsius of zero you should get back a Fahrenheit of 32 run that go ahead and run all the tests and you can see it will come back clean so this is how you can do your unit testing with MS test